Wes Ward hooked up on the Mickey Finn Marabou Trolling Fly. That is yellow with an orange back and uh, man, that fish absolutely crushed it. That was about two feet deep, about 108 feet behind the boat. And we are trolling along here at 1.9 miles an hour. It's an impressive strike. We'll see if it's an impressive fish. When they stay down like that, they're usually nice fish. Oh yeah, I can see some flashes down there. Not huge. Not huge, but he's a husky rainbow, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that's a nice quality trout. Beautiful fish. Though. Awesome. Putting up a tussle. off nice that's 17 18 inches maybe nice. I say that's real close to three pounds that's a nice fish real nice fish yes you go, guys. swing him over in the sun oh there you go wow yeah we can really see him now what a beauty Collins Lake baby trolling fly by it doesn't get any better let him go there he goes there he goes show us that fly really pretty right now <laughs> yeah, a little torn up. <laughs> but yeah that uh, that yellow fly just is a just a little uh, hair of orange in there just getting it done so that's awesome all right let's get it back out there look at those big beautiful rainbows that's what trolling flies can do you think trolling flies don't work well think again you need to grab a set of my trolling flies get out on the water and get ready to go big ah <laughs> yes hey Wes I'm gonna add to what you I know what you're gonna say here describe what just happened and uh, and tell us a little bit about it, because I think it's kind of a learning experience for guys that are trolling flies. Oh, we had a, oh, he's still, oh, he's off. He's off. That's okay, tell us what happened. No, he's not, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's off. So we had a boat that was really close to us, and I that, turned. That fellow right out there. I turned to get out of his way, and I sped up really quick using the trolling motor on the bow. We probably sped up to like four and a half miles an hour from the 1.6, 1.7 we were trolling. The second we sped up, our top line just completely went off. And we, and, uh, we were going like Rapala speed. We were cruising right when that fish hit. And uh, we had to take some evasive maneuvers to get out of the guy's way. And then we lost a fish right here at the back of the boat, but that's okay. But, uh, you know, anytime you change your speed drastically like that, sometimes those fish will just follow your gear. And you won't even know it. And a speed change will make all the difference in the world getting them to hit. And I'm going to whip the camera around here. This is going to be bad television. But, you know, I, I think one of the things to know there is everybody thinks that, you know, trolling flies is a slow technique. And even for me, I rarely troll flies much above two miles an hour. But uh, we, were, we were just really trying to get out of that guy's way. And uh, obviously, you can't pull a fly too fast. If a trout wants to hit it, he's going to hit it. And that, that was actually kind of funny because the fish jumped out in front of the people because we're trolling that fly about 200 feet back jumped out in front of their boat and they thought it was just a fish jumping and they started to kind of head over there and uh, then it jumped like right aside of their boat behind their boat and they're like oh it's those guys and then they were like how far back are those guys trolling <laughs> but uh, anyway the lesson there is you can't troll a fly too fast to get it away from a trout if they're in an aggressive mindset anyhow i'm kel kellogg signing off for now i just thought to bring you that quick tip no fish in this one unfortunately but uh, just something to keep in mind when you're out there on the water if you're looking for trolling flies and more fish hunt shoot Dot com. Thanks a lot, guys.